up guys learning with rich here in this video we are now going to talk about adding fire alarm control panels on our project so we will be needing the panel for us to be able to create a circuit for our fire alarm uh, system design all right so let's get started so just like what we have done on our previous video so we are going to load the panel that we will be needing for our project Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in first here on the electrical room. Okay, so I'm just going to put it here. And then after that, to load our electrical panel, so I just need to go to the Insert tab. And then after that, let's go to the Load Family. Okay, and then let's look for Electrical. Go Electrical, where is that? Okay, so electrical, MEP, and then let's go inside the information and communication. And then let's open up the fire alarm again. And then let's look for the fire alarm control panel. So this will going to be a wall-hosted family. So fire alarm control panel. This icon that you are seeing at the moment, it means that this family is a face-hosted family. Okay, so we need to pay, uh, we need to host it on our wall or to our face. Okay, so I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to select here open. Okay, so now that we have loaded our fire alarm control panel, so the next thing that we are going to do is let's go to the systems tab and then after that we are going to add here our uh, electrical equipment okay so I'm going to select electrical comp uh, equipment and then that's the fire alarm control panel that we have here so you can also check the type here if you want to edit it okay so I have here 400 by 475 so if you want to create your own one, you can just simply duplicate that and then specify the name. And then after that, you can modify the dimension. Okay, so in my case, I'm just going to use the default panel or the default type. And then after that, this is a, uh, we're going to put it on the host on our wall. So just make sure the place on vertical face is selected. Okay, so I'm going to put now this one on my wall, which is here. Okay, so I'm going to click. Alright, so let's say I'm going to place another one. So I'm going to make sure to put it here on my wall. So every time you place a family, so make sure that you also go to the properties. Look at the instance properties. This is uh, the schedule level found from the constraints category here uh, parameter this is very important so that you will be able to properly schedule your family okay so in our case specifically for our fire alarm control because you can actually change that one so you can change the level of that one so you can schedule the level on level 2 level 3 level 4 or level 5 okay so just make sure if you want to include your electrical panel to level 1 schedule, so make sure this is correct. Okay? And then you can also change here the height. So let's say, for example, uh, the height that I, that I want for this is, uh, let's say, 2,000 millimeters. Okay? So our default units here is in inches. Okay? So how did I know that one? So if I go to the... Uh, manage and then I go to additional or oh, I mean here on the project units so as you can see our default length here is set to feet and fractional inches so if you want to change that to millimeters you can always click the drop down arrow here and then you can select millimeters or so let's say you know the height that you want so for example for this electrical panel you want to have an elevation uh, of this one from level uh, 2000 millimeters so what you can do is you can click the value here and then you can just type 2000 and then the uh, units okay so 2000 mm 
and then you just need to select apply here or just click outside and automatically Revit will convert that to feet and fractional uh, units okay so you can use the uh, metric or you can also type um, imperial units just make sure you type the symbol the unit symbol okay so let me just go ahead and select this one as well and then I'm going to change let's say uh, 2000 mm and then I'll just click outside to apply all right and then this is very important so make sure if you're going to create a family for the panel so make sure you put a connector there okay so as you can see I have here four connectors wherein I can generate the conduit I can generate the conduit there, I can generate the conduit, and I can also create here a fire alarm system. Okay, so that is the reason why we need to place a connector to our panel every time we create it so that we will be able to create our system or our circuit. Okay, all right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is you can actually uh, put a section here if you want to see that on the section view. So I'm going to select section. I'm going to pick somewhere here. I'm going to pick the first point and uh, I'm going to pick the second point. And then I'm just going to flip that to the other side and then I'll just right click this and then just go to view. And then that's it. You will now be able to see here the family that you just placed, which is this one. Okay, you can also select these two uh, equipment here that we have, the panel, and then you can uh, select here selection box or you can type BX so that you'll be able to see that in 3D view as well. There you go. Okay, and then if you want to adjust the height of your uh, 3D here, you can control the section box. So I'm going to click outside and then notice that the section box here is already checked but it's not showing at the moment. So for you to be able to select the section box, so make sure you click here, reveal hidden elements. And then after that, you can click now the section box. There you go. And then you just need to adjust that if you want. It's just for default, the section box is hidden in this view, right? So you can adjust that and there you have it, okay? So there's your panel. So what you can do is, um, I'm now going to select close reveal hidden elements. And then this one, I'm going to change the discipline to um, coordination. And then after that, I'm going to change the visual style to realistic so I can see the model. There you go. So there's my panel. Okay, so in creating your panel, you do not need to create it very detailed so the important thing here is you have the dimension of the panel and then you have the connectors of the panel so that you'll be able to create the circuit and you can also create the the system all right now aside from that aside from doing this to generate the 3d view you can also go back again to the level one and then you can create a camera just like what we did last time. So you can click the drop down arrow here of our default 3D view. And then you can select camera here. And then you can pick the first point, let's say somewhere here. And then I'm going to pick another point, let's say here. There you go. So there's our uh, two panels. So I'm just going to adjust this. Just going to adjust this. Again, I'm going to change the discipline to... Uh, coordination or architectural and then I can change here my visual style for a presentation view or I can just change that to shaded view and there you go you can also select uh, consistent colors if you don't want to have any shadow so you can see it okay so it's up to you all right so that's how you place the panel that we will be needing for us to be able to connect our fire alarm devices to create our fire alarm system. All right, so hopefully you learned something from this uh, short video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can 
put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.